Hey you guys, Backyard Scrapping here. Um, this is actually something a little different. I was sitting here doing this, and I already did this one. These are actually uh, called COB Grow Lights. Um, I got them as scrap because actually the LEDs were burned out or partially burned out. And they are like, you know, look like brand new. So I just went online and looked and found some. Now these are a little bit different than what was in here. These are actually uh, 110 volt where inside this box when I take one apart. I already fixed this one. But inside the box when I take the next one apart, I'm going to show you what is all in here. And I can kind of see why they overheated because... Even though there's heat sinks and fans in these, the particular style of these LEDs that were in here had um, a bunch of like power converters and things like that. In fact, there's a total of actually five different converters in here to get the power down to the right size. So what I did was I took all those out and I'm just going to use you know I just use these ones that I can just solder right to a 110 wire but anyway when I get to that when I take the next one apart I'm going to show you but I, I went ahead and, and fixed these I just wanted to make a video showing that scrapping isn't completely about just tearing stuff apart I mean if you can fix something and repair it you know I'm not going to shine that at the camera because you will be blinding but I mean why toss it so anyway, I'll get back at you guys in just a bit, and I will show you the inside of this thing and then show you the way I'm converting it so that it may actually keep these LEDs from burning out. So we'll get back at you in a few minutes. Okay, guys, what I what I just did, um, I did it off camera because it's very simple. I mean, there's nothing to explain. But what I did was basically solder lead wires onto these LEDs. Um, uh, this is load and neutral, L and N in case you're ever wondering. Load is positive and the N is the white wire in 110 volt. Now in 12 volt it's usually, and I'm no electrician, so I'm just telling you what I kind of know. In 12 volt it's uh, your, your red is usually hot and your black is usually your neutral or your negative or positive and negative where in 110 volt white is hot or black is hot, white is not. So that's how I remember that. But, and these are also all cracked up. I think he said that they'll come on, but they won't stay on. So Yeah, this one's coming on too. But I can see that yeah, this one's partially burned out. This one's burning full. But he said if you leave them on any length of time, they actually will not work. They will actually quit working. So we're going to change them out anyway. And you can see, I don't know if you can see the lot. Let me turn it back on again. You see the lines? Just that one is working. Just these three are working. And they are all cracked up. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and take it apart, show you what's inside it and uh, change them over to these 110 ones that actually have a little vent on them. There's more of an air space. So, there's really not much to these. I know sometimes they're pretty expensive. I mean, I have no idea what these are going for. But I figured, you know, hey, if I can put new bulbs in them and fix them, maybe somebody can use them and will make me a little offer for them. is that this just comes off and as you can see we have all this stuff <laughs> basically these are all um, the chargers or the there's a name for them I can't remember exactly what it is that anyway to power up these LEDs because they are actually not 110 volts 
and then this is the little power supply in the center that powers the fans, the cooling fans. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and cut all these little things that are holding these wires and we are going to take all this stuff off. In other words, we're just going to kind of lighten the load here. So I'm going to take this off. Like I said, there's a name for these, but I don't remember what it is. Oh, a driver, LED driver. That's what it's called. It's right on the side of it here. But I'm going to take this off. So this basically is our LED driver. And this is an input. Uh, 100 through 220, 266 volts. The output is 28 to 36 volts at one and a half amps. So evidently, that's what it takes. Evidently, it takes two of these to power one of these. So this is the bad part right here. So we're going to take this off. have to do a touch rewiring in this because we are changing it to 110 volts from I guess 28 or 36 volts whatever these guys power out at which I don't know but this is our bad part so that LED I don't know if you can see it but it's all cracked up Set that over here with this driver. Um, take a paper towel and wipe this off. But I just thought this might be interesting for a change. Because, like I said, a lot of times scrapping is not scrapping. Sometimes it's, you know, salvaging and fixing stuff up. And, you know, like I said, I don't really know how much these go for. I guess I can look on eBay and find out. But, I mean, I know they can't be that cheap. I mean, for some, and these are quality ones. These aren't, you know, this isn't junk. This is well, heavily made stuff. So, I know I had, uh, Actually, I gave it to Cheryl, but I had um, a little LED thing, but it was really like just a cardboard. I actually got that in scrap, too, but it looked like a kind of a picture frame with just a cardboard board on it with some LED lights, and I actually looked those up one time, and they were 20 or $30 on eBay, and I mean, and this thing was basically just worthless, so it was nothing like this. I mean, nothing like these. It didn't have all these drivers and fans and adapters and all this kind of stuff. So, anyway, let's go ahead and get the rest of this stuff out of here. I mean, my repair, like I said, I already did one. It's actually very simple compared to having to have all this stuff. So, we've got drivers over there we can sell. Actually, I guess if somebody wanted these LEDs, they would be usable, but I think he said after they heat up, they just go out. They don't even stay lit. And look at what my lovely wife has brought me. Two espressos to keep me working. <laughs> Thanks, doll. Tell what it says on the... Huh? Show. Bean me up. It says bean me up. Hot stuff. Woohoo! Thank you, doll. Yep. 
anyhow, so we're going to finish taking this off. It's actually a pretty quick fix, so let's see how much I have to do here. Take my little knife and pop this LED out. That is a bad LED, or supposedly. Wipe off this heat sink stuff. This is our fans, so we want to leave that. This is our input to our fan. So we don't need all of this stuff. So I'm going to go ahead. These are actually kind of glued on. Not glued on, but they're rubberized at the switch. I don't know if you can see that right here. Anyway, when you take these off, it's going to break like a little rubber. And like I said, I am not an electrician, but I do know how a lot of this stuff works. Cut that. Let's see if we can get it to come off now. This is that, and that, so that's those two, so I'm going to actually need one of these on black and one of these on red, so I'm going to need one of these. I actually don't know, this looks like a weaved up mess here. This one off right there. I'm going to cut this one off right here because I need that to connect. So I will just take this one, throw that over there with the rest of my scrap. This is actually going to be my connector for that. For that little power supply. These can get bundled back up. get stuck down here. The only thing I'm going to need is that. I'm going to need to strip that wire. Basically, we're just going to screw these right back on here. You see, we're not putting all of these things back in. So there's a lot of heat that's not going to be going on here, simply because we're removing all of those. Don't need them. And that is going to cut down on the heat buildup on the LED, because now, instead of the fans having to cool not only the LED, they're having to cool off all of this stuff too. So without them, there's five, four boxes there that we're not going to be having to cool off. The fans are basically just going to be concentrating on cooling these LEDs off. Go ahead and put this one on here. And now we're going to be turning this black wire into a red wire and the white wire into a black wire. Because we're going to be going from 110 to this is actually wired 12 volts, but we're going to be bypassing that and making it straight 110. Yeah. 
this. But hey, if anybody can use these, um, make me an offer on them. Drop me a, leave a comment down in the comments area and tell me what they're worth and you know what you'd give for them. Because, like I said, I really, I really don't know. Okay, so we are going to connect. black wires together. I can go ahead and plug this in. Okay. So our red wires are going to be connected together with our black wires. So this is actually going to go like that connector on it and where's the printer so we're going black to red and we're going to crimp that in That's good. That goes like that. This is actually going to come over here and plug into this red side. Like that. Now we're going to take the white. Which is our neutral. And our black, which is our 12 volt neutral. We're going to put those in here. black one, put it with this white one, Just for safety's sake, I'm just going to put a little piece of electrical tape around that. Uh, what I actually did, I know you saw a lot of this, I took all this out, took all these out, these are all generating heat. We saw that they did fire up with these, but he said that the guy that actually gave them to me for scrap said that they're all crackled up and once they overheat, they won't stay on. So it takes two of these, it took two of these boxes to power one of these bulbs. So we eliminated the heat from that, from these boxes. Um, I've already done all my wiring, my cross wiring. Black is actually going to red, white is actually going to black because this is wired under 12 volt. It's not wired as 110 and I'm actually changing it over to 110. It has 110 coming in and grounds. So let me plug this in and we'll see if we got lights. So we got them. So I'm going to go ahead and put the case back on it. and wipe this stuff off and anyway like I said 
I don't know where, like, where my camera went dead at, but if anybody can use these, um, these are not cheaply made. These are actually, they were quite heavy. So I don't think they're junk by any means. I don't have a use for them, but I just couldn't see. I mean, the LED 110 replacements cost me, and these are full spectrum grow lights. And these cost me, I don't know, I think maybe four or five dollars a piece for these. So the rest of this thing, I mean, it's, you know, with all this crap out of it, it's going to run cooler. So we put it back together, and we have a functioning grow light. I even have the boxes. He gave me the boxes, he gave me the little chains that came with them, and the power cord. So, like I said, if anybody has a indoor garden or can use these, let me know. Maybe we try, I'll trade them for some silver. How's that? <laughs> Should the LEDs ever go out, I mean, it's obvious they're not that hard to change out. You could just get some more LEDs and change them out. And now, like I said, it's going to run a heck of a lot cooler without, without all... I, I took out four of these LED drivers. And you know, I mean, they're all vented. You know that's going to draw and create a lot of heat, which probably contributed to these burning out are cracking up like they did. So there we are. There's the finished product. Try it one more time. Whew, that, that is bright. You do not want to look at that stuff. You do not want to look at that. Great ventilation coming through them now. Actually, even a little bit of heat's getting forced out from around the bulb, which is good. Not keeping heat right on the bulb. So, there we go, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. It's a little bit different. But I just wanted to show you that all scrap is not scrap. Just because you get something is scrap. That's just like the computers. I mean, the computers I got. I, th I think I actually um, sent LHB a computer because, I mean, I was able to repair it, so why scrap it if I can fix it? Alright guys, I will get back to you in the next video. Like I said, if anybody's got a use for these things or can use them, um, they are... I know these two, these two LEDs draw 50 watts a piece, actual power. So that's what they're drawing is 50 watts. The light output I'm thinking is somewhere around the same light output that they were, which is around 400 watts. Because I think these may actually have, and I know LEDs, it's a quite a difference. I think these even have more LEDs in them than the originals did. So they might even be putting out more actual watts of light. But anyhow, all right, I'm going to let you guys go. It's a COB, it says COB LED light fixture, and basically all I did was convert it from 28 volts and LEDs that were heating up because of all this extra stuff. I mean, this is what was, I, this is what's been removed from the box and just replaced with this. So it's got to cut down on the heat. They got to last longer this way. Um, anyway, if anybody's interested. Uh, leave a comment down in the comment section. Like I said, I'll trade. You can buy them from me, whatever you want to do. But I'll get together the boxes that they came in. Because he still had everything. Boxes, cables, cords, the whole shot. So, Alrighty guys, I'll see you in the next video.